this is what I've done so far. This is what I've been doing on a Sunday on Father's Day. I've welded in the drain hole. So I cut that out of the old piece, cleaned it off and put it back in here in line with this. I've given that a thicker weld, which I'm still grinding down at the moment. I've started cleaning all this up. Uh, and now I've started getting ready to remove that chassis. So, and I've cut that section out so that I can build the inner seal up to there. So that's what I've been doing. So that's ready. cleaning all this up now I want to get that chassis rail removed and get that the new one in so I can start welding this section back down um, yeah that's Sunday's work Yeah. Right, it's now um, Tuesday today. I'm now drilling, I've cut all that out, as you know, I think I showed that in the last video. What I did on Sunday. Now I'm just drilling out all the spot welds. The lighting's not very good in here. Drilling out all the spot welds there to remove that chassis rail, so I'll get the new one in place. Uh, Done, that's like what I've done so far here and up there obviously just got to find the ones that are in here um, that's as far as I've got at the minute I've cut all the rubbish metal out of there so I can get to that so I've got to clean underneath this car and get rid of all that old stuff so I can start with a clean workspace so that's what I've got to so far and now I've just got to carry on up to there and find the ones on this side and I'll get back to you when I've removed all the spot welds and get ready to take that chassis rail out and start preparing it to take the new one but that'll be shortly got the old sill off uh, the old sill uh, the old chassis rail uh, just got to repair it, just got to cut that rest of that off and clean all that off up there. And I'm going to place, I've got to uh, cut all of that out because all the base of it was rotten. So i just got to clean it. Well, I say rotten, it's just pitted, it's not solid. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll be back with you shortly. When I've got a bit more done. Amen. Started cleaning that up. Just got to clean inside it and finish cleaning around the outsides of it. But that's it so far. Nice and shiny on the top lip. Now I've got to uh, take a break, stand up for a minute because my legs have gone dead. <laughs> as soon as I've got that chassis rail in, I'll be starting that corner there, rebuilding it and extending the sill up properly. I'm going to put the sill into here like it's meant to be, right up to the corner down, but I need to replace some of this metal. It's horrible. That, that's how far I've got so far. Yeah, and once I've cleaned that up and got that ready, I'm then moving to the back and cleaning that one up. And then hopefully I'll get this chassis rail in today and bolt it to my new piece of floor. So, back with you soon. Hi, me again. 
finished for today. I never had time to put the chassis rail in because I'm still in the middle of cleaning it up. So what I did was I fixed that hole here instead. I basically run the whole thing there down and across to here. And then the spot weld holes will be drilled into this bit for the chassis rail. So this is connected to the chassis rail. I basically run a whole strip down and butt welded it. This metal is in, is in line with this metal. It's not on top. It's flat look. So this is where I'm at at the moment. And tomorrow I'm going to come back out again. I'm going to finish up these and the rear one right there. I'm going to get that chassis rail in. And then I'm going to weld these to the chassis rail. Drill holes there, chassis rail, and then after that, this is all the top section all repaired. Still little bits to do, cleaning up wise. And then after I've done the chassis rail, it's going to be all in there and in the cilia. And then that will be done, and then it's time. Then it'll be time to move on to that. So, I'm, as you know, I'm repairing the passenger side, but the driver's side is getting a new floor pan, new inner sill. Even the passenger side is having a new outer sill. So this is the only one I'm repairing because it wasn't as bad. It was still strong up here. And obviously, the, as you know, the back seat area there, that's strong. So I've only got to weld up to the bottom lip. Obviously, I've got to then go underneath the car and I've got to clean up underneath here before I can put that chassis rail back in. Clean up the welds that's gone through, that's penetrated to the other side. That is the drain plug that I've cut out of the old floor and butt welded it into this one. There's one that I cleaned up. And then obviously one of them goes in there, so that's that. The top of here is really strong now. As soon as that chassis rail's in, it'll be uh, done up here. A few little bits and bobs, a bit more grinding to finish off the whole floor once the chassis rail's in. And then this will get a little, uh, a little paint. Obviously, not in the line of where the brace has got to go. But the, it's going to be new. New holes for the brace because obviously it's a new floor. So I'm going to sit that brace in here and then I'm going to start making the lip for it and getting that back in and then obviously replicating that for the other side. But obviously, I can't do that till I've got the floor pan. So that's it. That's today's job all done. Um, I'll be back to it tomorrow and start filming again and then I'll show you the outcome once I've got far enough so please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye bye